Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Iggy and today I'm going to attempt the Chloe Ting two week app challenge. I don't have to party to have fun, you see. I got different hobbies and that's all I need. So um a friend of mine just introduced me to Chloe Ting. They think that like her app challenges really work. Um, I went online as well on YouTube and I've seen other people review the challenge and it seems really interesting and I've always been interested in having apps as well but I've never really been um, very I guess successful in getting apps. Um, this is my before shot so this is like a closer up of how it looks like my abs before I do the challenge. So this is how it looks like. I have a little bit here, but nothing too, I guess, prominent. And I think it would be beneficial as well to measure the before and after in inches as well for those that might be interested. So this is just a, right now before I am, twenty-five and a half inches. And this is in the afternoon after I've had a full day of food so this is not like a morning measurement or anything so right now it is 5 36 in the afternoon and this is where i'm doing my measurement stomach wise let's see how much it is Twenty, twenty-nine. 29 well 28 and a half 28 and a half that's what it looks like yep so, this is day one. I guess are a little bit um numb a little bit a little bit numb especially the top the upper ones are a little bit like tired not really numb but it's just i guess tired is the best word to describe it um other than that i feel okay um as you can tell day one haven't done this challenge before so there's a lot of i guess moves that i'm not very steady on so hopefully throughout the two weeks throughout time then i'll get stronger in those areas so it's been a, two weeks since i started the chloe ting two week challenge so i'm just gonna quickly do a measurement for you so you guys know and can compare the difference between i was two weeks ago to now that i've completed the challenge and then i wanted to let you guys know what i what i did during the process just to have some context of how it happened what i did what i changed what i didn't change 
And yeah, let's start with that. Well, I wanted to show the time because it's actually important to know. Different time of the day you have different, uh, depending what you've been eating and stuff. Right now it's 5.12, relatively the same time that I took the measurement the first time. So um, this means I've had breakfast, I've had lunch, and probably today, did I have a snack? No, I didn't have a snack, but I've been drinking a lot of water. So that's what you have uh, in your mind when you do the, uh, I guess, comparison. So for my waist, I am 25. Stomach, I am at 28. As you can tell, the difference isn't too big, but I've noticed that my body is getting stronger. Like I noticed after I did the ab workout, my muscles did hurt. Well, not hurt. They were sore. So you, I could tell that my muscles were doing better. Initially, my arms are a lot weaker. So like when I was doing certain like positions, my, I, I will shake, right? And I couldn't control my movements as well. But as the week went by, I noticed that my, my body got stronger and I was able to do them exercises um, more freely and not as uh, it wasn't as hard on my body like the initial first two days like I was so sore like full body soreness but then as the week went by I got less sore and I think that's a really good thing because it shows that your body is doing the work and you're improving and your health is improving as well uh, one thing I do want to note is that I didn't change my diet in any way. Still ate three meals as I normally do. I still had my coffee, still had my waters, like nothing changed from that perspective. Uh, one thing I do want to add that I did change with regards to my lifestyle and I guess it might be because just it's fall and a lot of my friends are getting into hiking. I did hike a lot during these few weeks well, or these couple of weeks. So I did go on a hike. And that's changed, I guess that's part of the change to my exercise because before I never hiked, I did do a little bit of elliptical, but I didn't do any like extensive running or anything. So that's what's changed. I feel like the Chloe Ting challenge was a success in my mind because I feel like the reason why I even went on it to begin with is A, to see if there were any substantial results. And even though like, I guess in measurement wise, there the change wasn't that noticeable, but I feel like me as a bot, as a person and how I feel, I feel a lot better. I feel like I got stronger and I feel like for my health, I got better. So with that regard, I would say that this challenge is amazing. Um, I never really focused on the inches and the millimeters or whatever like with measurement ever it personally because i think your overall health is the most important like an inch or two inches or a pound or less than a pound to me doesn't really mean anything like if you feel good and if you feel healthy and your doctors are telling you you're getting healthier and the exercise you're doing is good for you and good for your body and you're not over exhausted then i feel like it's good so that's my perspective on health and exercising. But if you like this video, please give me a like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe for more content and I will see you later. Bye.